Hey there, and welcome back to another Pellet Tech 101. Today I want to show you how to create a jumper wire. Now a jumper wire can be a great troubleshooting tool that can be used for bypassing the safety switches that are inside of a pellet stove. A lot of pellet stoves will have a vacuum or a pressure switch, a high limit switch, and a low limit switch. And a bypassing tool such as a jumper wire like this helps us kind of indicate where the issue might lie. So uh, once we create the jumper wire, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you how we bypass a switch on a pellet stove. But first, let's get the jumper wire where it needs to be. So essentially, I have about a, a 14 gauge, you can use a 16 gauge wire, and I'm just going to strip the, the two ends of it. Be down about uh, three quarters of an inch or so. Just like that. And we're going to do the other end. Just like that. And I just have two male Molex connectors here. So I'm going to get those into the connectors. Make sure that we have a nice secure connection. I'm going to go ahead and crimp those down. And then I always give it a little tug. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Just like that. Go ahead and crimp this down. And that's it. We've successfully made a jumper wire. So this will allow us to pull the two lead wires off the safety switch connect them together so we're creating the circuit and uh, be able to allow us to accurately troubleshoot our stove. So that's all for now. You'll see me in the next round as we bypass one of the switches in the stove. Thank you. All right, welcome back to Pellet Tech 101. So I just showed you how we create a jumper wire. So again, short piece of wire. I have two male connectors on either end. And this can be a great tool when we need to troubleshoot one of the safety switches inside of the stove. So here I have a Harman pellet stove and what I want to show you is how we would bypass or how we would jump the vacuum or the pressure switch which is located here. So essentially we have two lead wires on the Harman it's going to be a, uh, a blue lead and a red lead that come to that vacuum switch. So I'm just going to gently pull these off the stove. Always make sure that the stove is unplugged from the wall anytime you're working back here by electrical components. Very important. Once I have these two leads pulled off essentially what I'm looking to do is just to connect these two together. So it kind of creates the circuit or creates continuity there. So I'm just going to use my jumper wire and we're just going to plug in each end of the leads that went to the vacuum switch. Just like that. So now I have successfully bypassed my vacuum switch. So it's important to note that the jumper wire and bypassing a safety switch like this is only to be used for testing or for troubleshooting. The safety switches are in the stove for a reason, and it is very important that they're in proper operation and that they're hooked up when the stove is running. However, the jumper wire here can be a great tool as we look to troubleshoot and make sure that we're deciphering where the problem is before we just start throwing money at it. So again, uh, this is how you make a jumper wire and how you bypass a safety switch. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you in another session of Pellet Tech 101.